why did you get into endo? Why did you why did you choose this specialty? Uh, I'm I'm going to say that I was I was a general dentist, and when I was going through dental school, endo was probably would have been way down the totem pole as far as the specialty that I would pursue. Uh, I was really into uh, orthodontics. Uh, but during the process of my career as a general dentist, which went 15 years, I got heavily involved in dental reconstruction, you know, the rebuilding the entire mouth, and found during that process that in order to rebuild somebody's mouth, you have to have a good foundation. And that foundation could be a healthy tooth, which means it's got to be a healthy pulp, it could be a tooth that is endodontically treated and it has to be treated well, or it could even be further down the line in the patient's lifetime, a dental implant. So in the process of studying what I can do to create a better foundation, I found myself in Santa Barbara studying with Cliff Ruddle, and he exposed me to things that I never got in dental school, and I felt like Wow, I've been cheated. Why didn't I learn this stuff in dental school? This stuff has been known for a long time. And along with that came looking in a microscope and looking inside of a tooth. And when I did that, I went, wow, this is obvious. And I've got to say, I just started a love affair with endo and realized what was possible that was never explained and shown to me in the past, and so I went for it. And I, I suppose I studied with Cliff for about six months, and I called him one day and I said, dude, this has gotten the best of me. I think I want to go to endo school. <laughs> he said, I could have told you that after one day when you were with me. I went home and I told my wife, Phyllis, I got this guy, he's hooked. You were sold. That's totally sold. Sold on endo. Still love it. Yeah. So speaking of um, microscopes, because I know that's a huge part of your practice. It is. Um, what What's the brand that you, your brand of choice that you prefer? I, I, I started my microscopic career, career in dentistry with Global Surgical, whom I still uh, have a lot of respect for, the company and the people. but. Somewhere along my microscopic journey, and I think it was at the AAE meeting in uh, or, uh, Atlanta, uh, I looked inside of a Zeiss microscope, and I had kind of an epiphany, like, wow, this is clear. And then I got exposed not only to the clearness of Zeiss optics, there's just something about the feel of what the Germans do. It's kind of like a Mercedes. It's like their or, cars, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. So I kind of had the same sort of thing at that time. I look at it in his eyes going, whoa, this is, uh, this is kind of the cat's meow here. Mm -hmm. And then when you get exposed to what I'm going to refer to as the Pro Ergo Microscope, where it's a computerized microscope and you can focus, zoom in, zoom out. You can raise the level of light intensity in and out with simply the push of a button. And you can do it with either hand. It completely catapulted my love affair with scopes even further. So since I started using a microscope in about 1992, I have never treated a tooth without a scope, ever.